Something resembling an introduction. Rather than just a visit on, yeah, yeah. Hello. Now, now the internet not only has to listen to us talking shite, but they you can... get to see us looking like a bag of shite as well. <laughs> well, I'm hungover from. Uh... Do you want to wave to your fans? Uh, right, I wave to all of my uh, fans. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to see your mum's watching. All right, Hal. All right, Michael. <laughs> hi, future me. Um, yeah, Friday I was at my cousin's, uh, like they had a 10 year wedding anniversary party, had the vows renewed and we had a drink and then last night I was at Callum's big club rock night reunion 30th birthday bash, so I'm not fresh. Not that you'd ever be able to tell. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Games. Yeah, Games. They're, yeah, they're great. So... No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. I've got lots of No Man's Sky news. Good. Other than that, I've got pretty much now. I've got bugger all. Oh, 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 good news. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, and um, it's come back. Also, finally, and I know I'm the only one who actually gives a shit about this, but do you remember, like, way back in the beginning of the year when I was super excited about Darkest Dungeon coming to yes. PS4 for uh, supposedly quarter one? It's finally got a release date, 27th of September. <laughs> So like quarter, quarter three, quarter four. Yeah. So you know, where to hit your targets, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have you played the new PlayStation Plus games? Yes. Rebel Galaxy is incredible. It's really good. How awesome is it? It's I fantastic. Have, I haven't had a go yet. I've begrudgingly put it on. I was like, wow, well, this is neat. No man's sky. You know, I don't actually think it's I've been fun. on my PlayStation this week. I have once. I played Rebel Galaxy, yeah. the robot game, which is surprisingly not bad. And that Tetris game, which is shit. Basically, I saw lots of people on my friends that playing that Rebel Galaxy, and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. Because, like, they can't all be wrong. And then, like, ten minutes in, I was like, this is fucking fantastic. Like, as soon as I booted it up, and the fucking country rock started booting off, I was the like, music yes! is, is the be- It's like Firefly, you know what I mean? So, yeah. got that vibe to it. I've just bought myself a new ship. Like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's a thing. Did you know, I, I know I'm away on a tangent here. But did you know that there's been like a bit of an outcry for like, don't just remaster Skyrim, do Oblivion as well. For, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's been people pushing for that, wanting a remaster, a redo of Oblivion. Personally, I'd rather have a remaster of Oblivion, but... So would I. Are you I'm, sure you wouldn't want a new game rather than... I'd rather have a new game than yeah, all that. Yeah, of okay. course, but if they were going to remaster one... Like, originally, I wanted them to remaster Morrowind, but when I heard the reasons why they said it would never happen, then I, I totally get it. Because hmm. basically their, their crack was... Yeah, but their engine was different, and, like, um, all the text, the, like, it wasn't spoken, the menus were set out differently. Do you know what I mean? There was, like, loads of text that was in a box. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we'd have to pay everyone to, like, um, to do the voice acting work and stuff, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, if they were a remaster, it's already there. And it just, they were basically like, it would be really difficult. We'd basically have to build the game from the ground up again. And I was like, well, all no, right. It'll probably cost a shitload. But the reason why they're going with Skyrim is because they want to include mod support, isn't it? And that's already a thing with Skyrim, so I guess it makes sense. I saw this fantastic mod for Skyrim on the PC, and the whole thing just looked amazing. Like, it was pretty close to. Like, I like Skyrim. And like, this is the thing, if they charge 20 quid for the remastered version, I'd pick it up. But I'm guaranteed it's going to be 50 quid. Yeah. And I can't, I can't make me, I, I can't part with that kind of money for a game I've already played. Yeah, I know what you mean. When the God of War remaster came mm. out, I couldn't, I couldn't pay that much money for it, so I waited till it was like 10, 15 quid. I've got something on Battlefield 1 that I'm not sure how I feel about as well. Is it the special edition thing? Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Let's so release a special edition with no fucking game. What they've said, though, is that they'll release that for $150, or you can get it with the game for $190. So 
So it's kind of like somebody might have the game and then go like, oh, I want that special edition stuff, but I don't need to buy the game again. So that's the only win that I can see for that. But is that a win? But, but, but exactly, like, what would be the point? That would be okay, assuming that the game was already out and people already had the copies, but this yeah. is the thing, while it's being pre-ordered now, no one has a copy yet, so that option isn't, uh, like, it's pointless. Have you seen what's in the special edition? No. It's That's fucking it awful. There's <laughs> it. like a statue of a soldier. There's a pigeon carrier tube. Yeah. And I can't remember what else, but it's all shit. I've never got the whole statue thing, like, like it's never, it's never appealed to me. I mean, obviously it does to some people. But the Witcher 3 one was awesome, though. It was Gerald fighting a fucking... There's a pack. Oh, yeah, so There's on, a messy so picture tube. There's a pack of cards. There's a statue. There's a cloth poster. And it obviously looks like a metal bookcase. And that's it. It's not very good. What's the most you paid for a special edition? I don't know. Probably, yeah. Uh, Division for me. I don't usually bother with them, to be honest. I'm kind of not going to bother again, though, if you know what I mean. I bought the Lord of the Rings Online Special Edition. Cost us 200 quid. Because it came with a lifetime subscription. Which you don't use. The game then went free to play, didn't it? Yep. So a bit of a kick in the pants <laughs> there. <laughs> I wouldn't care, it was made by... Uh, Turbine, who did Ashen's Call, which was one of my favourite yeah, games. Yeah, but The Lord of the Rings Online was pretty goddamn shit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> hey, John, one of I'd love one of them, thanks, And after that, I was all like, kind of you. never touching a special yeah, edition again. I mean, you could have handed the packet like, but no one's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the new video for Battlefield 1? still here, yeah. Hang on a minute, I'm having a moment. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. I might watch it now. It's uh, to do with the weapons. Well, the new... Battlefield 1 video. Yeah. I haven't watched it. Well, let's have a good fucking look at it. Here it is, eh? So you get to watch us watching the video? Weaponry is super exciting to me. We have been allowed to open up a totally new world. It's not another M16 that we're about to hit. Just a huge variety of weapons in this war. I mean, uh, everything from... He's called Martin Copperhead. ...close water weapons to fast firing machine guns and some machine guns. These weapons for the time were the, the, like the peak of engineering. We've done extensive research in order to recreate these weapons, both in how they sound, that looks awesome, what right, they feel it? like, yeah. how you handle them, in order to recreate them to perfection. Remember like Bad Company 2? The weapons you, you had a feel to them, yeah, and they all felt different. I hope this is the same for this. So I was talking with Darren Lyne last week, who was on the Alpha, and he said the weapons feel amazing. Yeah. You can, you can hear, just by the way the, the fire, it sounds when it's firing, that they're going to be different. Because it's not just like... That's Even the machine guns are like... Battlefield 3 and 4 had the same problem where the guns just felt the same, you know, it wasn't... Nah, it was 4 was a lot better for the gun feel. But then again, when I played 4, it was before they patched it, you know, it was very broad. 4 is a good game now. I think it's... it's four's, I think four's your classic case of too little too late, mate. 3 and 4, the thing there was, it wasn't so much that... The guns didn't feel different, it's just like most of the guns in the same class felt the same. Yeah, I'd agree with that, like, or like negligible. Yeah. So, like, an assault rifle's an assault rifle. A PDW is a PDW. Doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah. That looks awesome. It does. It does. I'm gonna buy the special edition where I don't get the game. <laughs> You're just gonna look at your stuff whilst we were playing it. And the thing is, like, does. Oh, so good. <laughs> Some, some, there are going to be some people who buy that and are very fucking disappointed when they find the game. They don't realise there. there's no game in it. That's hilarious. I can see the tears now. Or the hilarity though. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. pretty funny. Have if you, you don't read it, if you don't read the small print, and don't realise This is the thing the though, it's like, should you have to read the small print? No. no. <laughs> how, many, how many people are going to buy for the kids though? And when the kids open it, they'll be like, oh, oh the disappointment, the, the, the bittersweet taste. I mean, people like us, tears. yeah, we, we feed on the all. disappointment of children, but. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> bad. It's pretty bad. 
Just when you thought EA were turning that corner and, yeah, and the good exactly. guys. I heard a phrase the other day that I think is very apt here. They've just, they've, what they've done is they've managed at the, very, at the 11th hour, they've snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? They yeah, have, haven't they? That's a good saying. I like it. I heard it on a podcast or something somewhere. I can't remember, but it was funny as fuck. I was proper creased up when I laughed. I heard it and laughed me it up. Yeah, so there you go. Just hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Everyone thinks we're so much better than uh, than all these other developers now. Well, we can't let them yeah. think that. <laughs> Let's pull a new piece off. We've, we've lost our sterling reputation for disappointment. But the game looks so good. We can't just have people's like heads not being there and just floating eyeballs. What can we do? We can always just leave the game out, special edition. <laughs> Have a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's excellent thinking, John. Have a promotion. <laughs> That's amazing. That is incredible, isn't it? What if? Don't all sit. Don't all say it. Yes, at once. We leave the game out the special edition. Oh, oh, oh push, push. <laughs> we have to charge them one hundred and thirty dollars for it without the game. I like it because <laughs> what what you're saying is they've bought the game. They think they own the game. They think the game's being delivered. They open the game. No game. No game. <laughs> but you do get you do get the steel book for the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's just a masterstroke. Man. Hang on, John. What happens when like you know people cry about it? Don't worry. We'll add the game in, but we'll charge them one hundred and ninety dollars. We'll tell them <coughs> the game's on sale. <laughs> Give him a ten percent off coupon inside the steel bookcase. <laughs> you two can pick up your copy of Battlefield One for the low price of forty four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Bell ends. And what should, what else should we do if we haven't disappointed enough people? You know what else they're gonna do, don't you? Let's make sure the servers don't work for the first three days. I think that, that I mean obviously there's going to be some instability because there always is around any launch. Uh, no, 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 no. Cast your mind back to every Battlefield launch. There hasn't been some instability issues. For there to be some instability issues, there has to be a server online that can then become <laughs> unstable. Basically, you know where, I mean? where I was heading is I don't think it's going to be as bad as Battlefield 4 was. But Company 2 never had an issue, ever. Battlefield 3, do you remember the first two days trying to get on? Oh, yes. Sorry, server is unavailable. <laughs> Every time. Oh, it was shite. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as fucked as four was at launch. I hope not, because they have actually made it. They've addressed that and they've said like, like we they, they acknowledged it in one of the presentations I watched. They like, normally they don't even acknowledge that they've done that, and they acknowledge that they know that they've had problems with really buggy games and really bad servers and he said please draw your attention to battlefront and look at how yeah, well yeah that was that was I mean? um, that actually did launch wasn't, wasn't that well. the same conference where they washed the hands of hardline exactly the same <laughs> conference. um yeah but well, the thing is wasn't it's, it's, it's fair for them to wash the hands of hardline because it wasn't them yeah it was fair for them to, it was like bad company two was this and that and the fans loved it because of this and we had some mixed experiences in battlefield three but in the whole i like i liked it do you know yeah, I mean? it was. It so was like, so you know, that was a decent game. Battlefield Four, especially when I went back to it later, I love the game. I think Battlefield Four is a good. I think the problem with three was this. It was by no means bad, but it's just we had very high expectations anyway, coming from Bad Company Two. Yeah, for we, me, we, it was too much of a change from yeah. Bad Company Two. That's why well, I don't like it. What I was going to go on to say there though was like Hardline. I think I owned that for about four days. And you know when I forced myself to play something to try and like it, I tried to like it. And again, it was that I've already said every single bit of the game that could have been good, victory was like defeat was snatched from the jaws of victory. Like everything about it was fucking garbage. Like you're only having four guns when yeah. you start. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the thing. Like, do you not remember? Cast your mind back. Like, I don't know, four or five months when like. I was like, so what news have you got this week? And like, one of the things I had was they're adding eleven new guns to Battlefield Hardline over the course of like. I, I had a rant about yeah. that, didn't I? Because I was like, there was like seventeen in each category on all the other battlefields. Yeah. 
The four guns. You <laughs> and they had like sixteen total. <laughs> here, here was the thing with the four guns, though, as memory serves, right? You had your cops and you had your robbers, and you had essentially your two primary weapons for your cops. Once you maxed out five hundred kills on each of those guns, those you two guns the then became available for the robbers as well. And then so you, you didn't get new guns. No, you just got the other opposition's guns available for the other side. You've already got 500 kills that, each. That's a lazy game. That's a horrendous. Game. But I had that game for about three or four days and I sold it. And it was dead funny at that conference because they were like, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, great game. And we had this and that. And we've tried to bring the destruction back. We understand about the authentic feel of the gameplay and it was great. Battlefield 3, this innovation, that innovation, it was great. Oh, people over at the other cool game house, Bad Company Hardline, uh, well done. Battlefield 4, <laughs> that, do you know what I mean? That literally they just went skim. And I thought, you know what? It's fair. If it was them, I'd have liked to have seen some like, uh, like taking a bit of responsibility for it and trying to like say like, well, this is not going to happen ever again. So I don't think necessarily unlocking the other the other side's guns is an issue. It's when there's only two. Yeah, but it's like look at look at Battlefront. So you're a rebel. You start with that. A two eight seventy or whatever. Yeah. When you're a stormtrooper, you start with the A eleven, but you can buy the other one at any time, and it costs you like seventeen hundred credits, which, which is like get three match. matches. Do yeah, you want like, if you have a good match. So <laughs> you know, like that's fine. Do you know what I mean? I don't think doing that for five hundred kills to unlock two guns that you've already spent like probably a hundred hours with anyway. Yeah. Shit. And there was that whole thing about how uh, there's something about you got points. For doing something in in the police car or something, and there was these guys who just they got a level hundred like, uh, like driving around by block. driving round and round in a police car just really? non stop for about eight hours, and then that was it. Yeah, it was on the Angry Joe show. Yeah. And they found it and they did it, and they showed just how broken the game was. Just like you, we found this bug where you just this certain area, this map, you drive in a circle, and you just like you just see the level yeah. racking, racking. So yeah, hardline. Load of shit, but we already knew that. It was awful. Mm. Yeah, it was awful. Did you still ever play Shadow of the Colossus? Yes, I actually really liked it. I saw it, I never played it. See, I really liked it as well. Like, the whole idea of it, the aesthetics of it, it looked but great. this new one that's coming out, what's it called? The Last Guardian or something? No, no, no. no. Have you seen, uh, what's it called? Pray for the Gods. No. It's like a... They call it like the spiritual successor of fucking. So oh, of, of of prayer. And is it though? Check it out. I think it looks really good. It's only two minutes, so. Is it by the same um, developer? No. This has been made by four people. That's it. Um, I love stuff like that. And but it looks amazing. Just get past this first shitty bit. I think this is nice. I like the music. Because that's the thing, that um, that one that's coming out, that, the, the Last, Last Guardian, Guardian, that is from Team yes. Michael, isn't yes. it? But I've got no I've got no interest in that. That, no, looks, no, no. that looks stunning. Just wait, you see the bad guys you fight? The monsters? Did you, love, did you see any of the fights in Shadow of the Cross? Yes, I did. Against some massive giants. Yeah. Like, I never, I didn't, I just, it was one of those games that I always thought, oh, I'll go and get back to that on a rainy day, and I just never did. You can kind of see the influence of Shadow Wars process on this one. That fighting looks amazing. That is beautiful, that graphically, that's stunning. Check this out. Like climb up its park while it's flying. What? What format is coming out on? What uh, PS on? PS4? Is this? I hope they retain that thing that um, Shadow of the Colossus had, where the game was very minimal apart from the boss fights. Yeah. Yeah, I love stuff like that because it, it feels like instead of it just being like a grind, it's like peaks and troughs. It was, it was basically the whole game suspension. The, the whole game set you up. For like just being complete sort of like sense of loneliness, and the only other fucking life that you came across, you were fucking killing. 
Actually, sorry, you're wrong. It was a three-person team that made that game. That's amazing. Which that is really impressive. That is really cool. Isn't it? That is amazing. But yeah, I hope they keep that kind of like minimal feel. Because when I saw The Last Guardian, I thought, oh, it looks shit. Like, yeah. I was kind of disappointed. I'm, I was disappointed, if only because I liked Ico and I liked <coughs> Shadow of the Colossus. Yes, same and that kind of like, you can see where it's got the same sort of like notes to it, but it, it, I don't know. I've just got no interest in it. I just, every, every, all I saw about it, like E3, and that I was like, just boring, just not interested. But this kind of looks like it. It's certainly a new Resident Evil movie gets its first teaser trailer. Oh, wow. I know. Actually, do you know what? They're a guilty pleasure of mine, I'm not going to really? lie. Yeah, actually. Jamie right. loves them. They're awful. I love them. I love her. Mila Jovovich. Yeah. Yeah. The sad thing is, she's actually a good actress. And she's in those shite films. I think they're pretty good. I enjoy them. Look at Dazed and Confused or Cuffs. I don't, I don't care. Fifth Island. Fifth Island's yeah. yeah. fantastic film, but, you I know. Don't, I don't care, I like them. Some people like Abba. Besides, I think the Resident Evil films kind of fall into that category of so shit that they're half decent. That's exactly right. No, no. I mean, stuff like Sharknado, yes, but... I actually watched Sharknado 3 the other day, and I couldn't watch it. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. It's so bad. The first, the first one's so bad it's good, but the rest of them are just... Oh. I was just watching it, and I was like, oh my god, I was just cringing over and over, and Amy was laughing our tits off, not even at the film, but just me, being like, oh god... So there's another UK studio shut down, a Relentless Software. What are they known for? Nothing really good, but can you remember the stupid buzz games? Where you had to paddle, and you press a button and it was like a quiz. Yeah. Oh, no great loss. No great loss, but, <laughs> but it's a UK company shutting down again. And it got us thinking, you know, I'm running out of UK companies to contact about Michael Shakes Fox. You might have to call up a bit further. We'll have to go. Season. We'll have to go abroad. And but good news, I've been looking for somebody to, to, to build us a website for me, me store thing, and I found a place in Peter Lee that builds websites and has an interest in making video games. So I'm thinking about ringing them to see if they fancy making Michael Shakes Fox. Yeah, I think and do, yeah. not the only one. Yeah, <laughs> not the one, the one. <laughs> not the one, the one. Open brackets. The bum ride to hell. Yeah. Close brackets. Bum me to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Hal, you must have something, because the rest of the stuff I've got to No Man's Sky, and I thought we'd keep well, that coming. Where is it? Where is it? I didn't have much, like, well, if anything, I was looking so, this morning, I was like... you know, when I've got something, it's a little bit, that's kind of off topic, but it's not. Generally is, yeah. yeah. When I was explaining about, er... Uh, the benefits, the upside of what I thought Portal Mongo would bring, where at least certain people who wouldn't normally get out for a walk would go for a walk, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Well, I found one guy who's so dedicated to his fucking Frank, fat, lazy lifestyle, he's found well, a way around that. I just got the credit card statement, so... Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, have you seen it? Francis, uh, he's, he's, he's a very accomplished YouTube troll. Yeah. Did you know this is all set up and yeah, yeah. I think it's brilliant, even if it is, I still think it's fucking awesome. Do you remember that? Uh, I mean, this is this is going off topic, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Do you remember that uh, fat ginger kid? The one who, like, cab, who's yeah, had, he's gone, he's, he's had, yeah. I think it's a troll, like, I think he's yeah. trolling. He's now, he's now transgender. I think he's trolling. Claire. I think he's trolling. Do you not think he's trolling? I want to say yes because it's so out of left field. Do you know what I mean? I think he's trolling. I mean, if not, then fair enough. But like, he's still gonna be like, <laughs> he's still gonna be a ginger, isn't he? <laughs> oh, isn't she? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. TC, get on. Push him down, Michael. Yeah, cat, you better move. So how excited is? I'm pretty, I'm pretty buzzed. Like, I'm, I'm like, because that this is the thing. I still wasn't a hundred percent on the release date. So I was looking on the PlayStation store last night, and I was like, tenth. That's like Wednesday coming. I was like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise it was that close till the other day. Like, have you pre-ordered at all? No, I'm just gonna go down to the shop, guys. 
actually, I best I'll just I'll wipe that off. My hand, I? And I now need to go and check what my hours are on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm very excited right now. I got, an e I got an email last week off game saying, we have took your payment. I'm like, uh -huh. And then I got an email about 10 minutes later saying, we're packing your game. I'm like, shit, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I got an email saying, we've shipped it. I was like, too much excitement. Is that mine as well? No, just mine. Wonder. Yours is coming from catalog. Fair enough. Yeah, but in what the What edition did you get for me? The, the only sold as standard. That's all I would have ordered and wanted. Like to be honest, I'm not really asked about like. But I for the next the next three days you need to get yourself on Rebel Galaxy. That's, yeah. That's really really good. Like like I'm more than surprised that he's pleased. I've got the last DLC of Dragon Age to play now. Finished everything. Dragon Age will always be there. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Once you start No Man's Sky, you'll go to Rebel Galaxy and be like, shit. Yeah, but for the meantime, it's just, it's, do you know what it is? It's the music. It's totally. It's exactly. the music that just, I'm like, I'm playing it and I'm like, yeah. And I actually quite like the, um, like the combat's quite good. Yeah. It's um, like a western in space. It's the best way to describe it. But just, there is sort of like a, a reasonable, amo reasonable amount of like skill to it. It's not just like, you so can't just right. go to a mission because you're going to get ganked by a bunch of if you haven't got the right yeah, stuff yeah. on your ship. Yeah. But even then, it's just like using your deflectors when you see missiles coming in and shit like that. Getting up, like the right range on them and stuff. This is one mission I keep trying to do and I keep forgetting about it because I keep just doing missions and then going and getting new stuff off the thing and I'm like, oh, I'll go and do that. And it's like risk low, so I'll go and do it. And it's just to kill this fucking wounded double jack guy. Yeah. And then there's like, for some reason, there's loads of fucking Korean rift jackers around and they're like, they're just absolutely taking this to pay in town. And I keep forgetting about them. I keep going back and going like, oh, I'll just kill him. And I'm like, oh, it's you guys again. Oh. So this music's like always there in the game, doesn't no matter what you're doing. That's cool. And it's awesome. Yeah, it looks alright, actually. I might get on it this afternoon then. You should, honestly. Ten minutes in, you'll be like, this is really good. Yeah. I was so surprised. But I think we might be building it up a bit too much for him, and you'll get on it and be like, oh, shit. No, no it's, I love this it, sort of thing. it's his kind of game, definitely. Oh, have you heard XCOM 2's been delayed as well? Yeah, yeah I heard that. Speaking of your kind of game. I kind of don't mind, because the best things in life come with those are weird. That's how I see XCOM 2. There's an old... Yeah, I like that, like, yeah. This is what I love about gaming, you know. Like, what it really comes out is for me, is the culmination of all of the art forms that I love. Yeah. Really good music, really creative, good script writing. Do you know what I mean? A story gets told. The artwork's phenomenal, you know what I mean? It's, it's everything. It's, it's not the greatest story, like, but you it doesn't have to be. It, they don't always have to be. It's like a movie. Sometimes you want to watch a deep and involved movie, and other times you want to watch Jason Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or, yeah. The thing is, though, is it's not even. It's. It's just. It's just living the fantasy, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like you get that kind of like space cowboy vibe off it oh, straight away, yeah. and you're like, it doesn't matter that the the story's like. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have a good go with that. I mean. It is, it is quite fun. And it's got that, it's got the kind of like um Did you ever play Big Mother Truckers? I love that game. <laughs> yeah. It's got that kind of like buy and sell mechanic thing going on as well. So you right. go at one thing and you'd be like, Oh these are selling like fucking soy paste was, really thought, fucking cheap. I thought I was the only person on earth who liked that I game. I fucking love Big Mother Truckers. It's fucking mint, isn't it? <laughs> Did you not play it? I played it. Didn't like it. You missed yeah, out. You so missed like, out. You missed out. You, you were in one of your little surly fucking hipster emo phases. We don't like this game. It's too hoppy. Like I've been, save, I've been saving good. up for a new it's ship. It's not serious enough. And the only way I afforded it was because I was at one station and there's like this tacky on salt that costs like 9,000 as the system average and they were selling it for like 2k so I was like fucking hell stock us up. And then the next station over they wanted it for like 8k and I was like ha there you go. New ship paid for. Get on. 
So basically, it's just a trading game. It's a poor man's no man's sky, really, without the exploration. It's got, like, say, it's, it's just Can got you play multiple players online? No. So I can't blow you out of space? No. You probably couldn't let you know. I could. That's disappointing, though. Of course, good. It's the kind of game mechanics that I'm good at and you suck at. Okay. But you've got all your, your ship upgrading options as well. And that's the thing, even the, even the, the shitty piecemeal ones that you felt like your first tier, it's, it's still noticeable, which is nice. Because I bought like a new fucking warp drive for me thing, and I was like, it doesn't take us like fucking five minutes yeah. to go to the other end of the sector now, it only takes us like three, get in. I love the, the effect as well of the warp drive when it kicks in. Yeah, I, like, I like stuff like that. I like stuff like that. That's really old school, that's kind of like a late 90s early 21st century kind of involvement game isn't it where and remind us of Freel- Freelander system, yeah yeah, yeah did cool. you ever play Freelander on the PC no I never played it very either. similar kind of shoot it's really good yeah I quite fancy that it's, yeah. it is it's definitely your sort of game what we got on No Man's Sky then That's, we might as well we're all dying to do it alright and so after we did last week's I was reading this chap on reddit who works with procedural generated shit and he says he had this theory which has actually turned out to be pretty much right so that uh, it's all above my head but procedural generated works off a prime key right right and the prime key for no man's sky is one of the hello games employees phone number and the easiest way to describe it is he said basically with each number of the phone number you can turn things on and off. So you could have the first zero set to on, and that would make loads of shit spawn on a planet. The next one could be turned off, and that could make the planet cold off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he said, for for demo purposes, all these primes, uh, the prime, all these keys were turned to a certain switch, so it was easy to play. You know, so people could get a a, a feel of what the game was going to be like in the five ten minutes that they played it and he said because obviously the servers for no man's sky aren't turned on yet so the people who've getting the advanced copies are pretty much playing a demo version of the game yeah they're playing the easy everything switched on and that's why it's took that guy 30 hours to complete it yeah and um sean murray's tweeted that um all this everything's getting wiped yeah and when the servers turn on you're going to get the actual game so the people who've been playing the lead copies are not playing the proper game how it's meant to be played they're playing the training wheels yeah so they've paid two and a half grand gra- yeah yeah I think that's brilliant now i really like that they've, they've really wasted the money now yep and i know that's really pathetic inside of me to like be glad <laughs> I, I like that though not even just for not even just for like them being being like ha ha you you guys are losers but it's the fact that i remember reading somewhere the where like it wasn't uh the game wasn't going to be super fucking friendly to beginners it was basically like you're going to get certain a certain way through and you're going to fucking die and it's kind of like that learning curve where you yeah. sort of like you learn like right i'm at this point these like i can't that option leads to death do you know what i mean well that damien when he played it he said he didn't die once and the 30 hours it took to complete it so that says a lot don't i, I mean if he didn't die then it's got to be but it's like I'm, I'm looking easy. forward to building that kind of in, like that game knowledge. Do yeah, you know like what that I mean? I, I kind of want now that I've heard this though, my brain's immediately gone. If I play, you know how when I'm super, super thorough, on you know when I go like rinse, how far I never fart. I'm kind of thinking if I go and put my ploddy head on and my plod hat on, and plod through, I might be able to do it without dying. If I get a sense, but I mean I'll, I'll probably level and progress a lot slower than. Other people. I think you're going to end up doing what you always do. You'll get to a certain point in the game, you'll delete your save game, and you'll start from the beginning yeah. again. I do always do that, yeah. that's true. So you'll once get I know, point, once yeah, I know, you know what, what I'm doing. doing. That's I what I mean, though, that, that collection of knowledge, that's part of like that's part of the appeal for me. Yeah. Rather than just being like, alright, so I'll just do this, that's alright. And I like, I like the, I like the way you acknowledge that I actually always do that as well, because I do. How far through are you? I'm nearly finished. How far through are you? I'll start again. I like that there's potentially consequences to poor choices on your part. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I've, I'm essentially dark on everything, honest. Do you know what I mean? So, But it's like, oh, I might 
upgrade this to whatever, and then you're like, okay, that's definitely not viable at yeah. this point. Do you know what I mean? I like the you idea know? of being able to create your own elements as well, yeah. like putting shit together just to see what it does. What I what I like is the fact that it really is because you get a lot of games that are touted that you have a unique play experience and to a degree you do but a lot of the time it's just cosmetic oh look Hal finished it in a blue hat <laughs> do you know what I mean but your hat looks <coughs> green because you did this mission different to me yeah. you know what I mean it's like it's never that bad but you know what I mean though it's like it's it, a lot of it's very like look at Fallout 4 you get, you get two it's, to three essentially different options. Fallout 4 we all played a different way, we sided with different people, but really, it was more or less the same ending, Re- isn't it though? Yeah. So like, that's the example of the kind of criticism I'm given. Whereas with this, I can't see how we can even have a remotely similar gameplay experience. Do you that's, know what I mean? That's the thing, I mean, I've played plenty of the games that have that procedurally generated. Usually it's something that indie games do quite a lot. Yeah. Um which is great. But even then, like even though every single game you play is different, it's still the same. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So you still might go like say take for instance the binding of Isaac, right? That's what I was trying to think of yeah, the name it's of like the same. You, the flaws are always the same, just the layouts are different and the enemy spawns are different and what items you get is different. But you know, you'll always do like, I don't know, the basement and then the, the caves and then whatever. But with this, I think just because the scale of it is so fucking mate, massive. Mate, you're right. Depending on which direction you go when you first fly off, yeah. that's your first decision. That's to change your entire game. But that's the thing. It's like it, everything will be different. It's For not me, just, just like it's not gonna be like you go up the same planet, but there's different shit on there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Literally everything is going to be completely different. For me, always northeast. That's the direction. Always northeast. Well, not really. I'm going to be changing direction a lot as I search for you too. So, you you said you you pretty much dark on it. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't help myself. I've not watched quite a bit I've now. I've been watching bits, and somebody put a little video up of some dog fighting, which yeah. I've never seen before. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Holy shit! It actually looks really. I'll good. cover your ears, cover your eyes. I'm watching it. I don't care if I spoil your. Hey, but I don't know. Just not watching. <coughs> I'll turn the monitor around so you can see it and then not watch it. Do you want us to find a fit? No, I'm doing it on here on this right. big screen. <laughs> see this big fuck off screen close to me, big blind eyes? That's probably a better one for me. So on Reddit, on the No Man's Sky subreddit, they've come up with a, a system for naming planets, naming creatures, and it's it's a bit weird. But Why? I don't understand. Right, so if you were to come across somebody's planet, and they've named it going off this system. You could look at the name, and the first two letters would be like. Which video is it, Mike? Um, if it's a cold planet or a hot planet, and it'll tell you what resources are on it. Um, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, neither do I. See that again? I wasn't listening. I was over this. Uh, I'm not sure. It was on Reddit when I found it. Just type in into Google Reddit, No Man's Sky dogfight. Right. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I don't like that because it takes Explain away the mystery. Me again, I wasn't listening. So, Reddit? No, no, I mean the thingies we're talking about. Alright, so Reddit have come up with um, this this way to name planets. Right. Uh, let us find it. Not, uh, be what Reddit it. has? Not Reddit, but the users of Reddit. Right. And no man's they, they, they suggested. And they want everyone to be uniform. Do. Yeah, so like... You, I don't um, I, even if it's a good idea, my Andy brain is immediately rebelled. Yeah, I'll, Continue. I'll don't like it. Right, here we go. <laughs> So I've got it up here. So, so the planet name will be the first one is biome. So if it's a desert, your planet would start with de, right? Then then the resources. So if there's yeah, I, I don't like that. So if there's a ship on there, it will be de s h p. Then the life part it goes on and on, and you get these stupid big long fucking names. Like here's an example, uh, Distressorara. GTC 08116 But the thing is though is I don't want to be able to look at the name of a planet and instantly know what's on there I know it, it the, takes the entire, the surprise yeah, out of it The whole it? point of it is that you, you're supposed to explore the universe your your universe that's you know unique to you I want to go down onto a planet and be like shit I can't be here I don't have a fucking like hazmat suit yeah. or whatever I don't want to just look at it and go yeah I can't go there oh, I'm not going on that one there's no fucking 
somebody's oh, released or something. somebody's released an app for iOS and Android, which basically does all this for you. So you just tap what's on your planet, what it is, and it brings up this name. No, nah, that's gay. I don't like that. I thought I'll have a look at the app. I downloaded it. Oh, I just find it on your thing. I can't. Instantly find it. just thought, nah, fuck it. I that's hate that's it. so gay. And the thing is, though, the thing that's annoying is that if lots of people do this, then there is a small chance I'll run across a planet like that, and then I'll know exactly what it is. And I'll be like, well, you won't, because you don't know what the fuck. End. Yeah, I know, but I'll know what it's referencing to. I'll be like, why? Right. I won't be like, why is this, well, gay, this planet called? This well, <laughs> do you know? Do you know how you can like, if you go off a planet and you fuck with it enough, you can destroy ecosystems and all sorts. What I'll come and do then, if I find a planet like that, is I'll spend enough time on it so I can destroy it and make the actual description into a lie. <laughs> right, fair enough. Good, good plan. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the other thing that I like about No Man's Sky that if you hadn't already picked up on is the the actual potential for trolling is endless. It's endless. No Man's Trolling. In fact, I'm going to learn their planet naming system and I'm going to totally name planets to the opposite of what they are. Like, oh, this is a desert planet. I can go down there. Ha ha, surprise, it's a nice planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be a total wanker. Like more so than usual. This is one here from the seventh of August. Perfect landing gaming Reddit. What the fuck? Right now, I'm trying to find. It. Now I'm on the subreddit now, so should we go on? <coughs> so there's actually dinosaurs in the game, you know? Yeah. Somebody's found a T Rex and put a picture up. That's cool. If you were to. Pre-order it now on the PlayStation Store. It's available for preload from today. But I wouldn't suggest I that. That's, uh, I, don't know. I didn't see the point. But I think we've all complained about that enough. Mm -hmm. This isn't really a spoiler, but check this out. Somebody put a picture up of the ship that they found. Oh, fucking You're, you've gone off topic, haven't you? I want this dog fight. I know I'm going to find it, but... You fascinating motherfucker. Find me the dog fight. Yeah. You are profound. Please rivet me further with your informative shit. Have you seen on the air? Uh, Here it is. Get in. I'll show up. I don't tell you now. Go away, Al. You go away. You go away. Do you want to watch this dog fight, Al? Al, take it. Take it. Well, let's try and load up with your shitty internet's not letting up. My internet's fine, it's your shitty. Oh, that looks good already. It reminds me of something. I love the music in it as well. I've been, I've actually been listening to some of the soundtrack because uh, it's already on Spotify. Because yeah. it's uh, a lot of it's done by 65 Days of Static, too, like I followed anyway. So I've been listening to some of it and I'm very impressed. I'd never heard of them before. Yeah. So I'm, I'm enjoying how gaming in general is becoming very gaming synth. Inspired again. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm only halfway through the fight, he's got to like repair and shift. This is what's gonna happen to you, Michael, when I find you. What, you're gonna miss? Like here? No, I'm gonna blow the fucking shit out of you. We'll see. Well, that, that's start like your captain's log off. Yeah, I'll start captain's log next, next week, will be the first installment, right? Mm -hmm. And he search for scoops. <laughs> And Allosaurus Pex. Sorry, Ty Tyrannosaurus Pex. That's really good. It's so smooth, isn't it? Bit of drama as well. I'm enjoying the real music, so I assume the lifting the music probably tied into the damage of somebody's shit. Yeah, that's good. Like what I'm enjoying, but I know that I'll also probably hear if I'm like in a dogfight where I'm way out in death, is that there seems to be like absolutely no assistance in the aiming. Like you've got to lead your shots and stuff yeah. by the looks of it. Yeah. But that's a good thing. Yeah, like also, I say, it's a good well, thing. With that said, it also looks open enough. Like you could probably disengage and get away. So there's some decent flying. Do 
Is he getting hit as well? Or is that oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's his hit. Now. He's in the corner. He's, yeah, he's near the book. <laughs> Shields down now. So you can instantly recharge it, but it costs him some. Cost him, yeah, cost him a lot. Yeah. Eventually he starts running out and he's going to bump it up by a half. Yeah. But if you notice when he throws the ship up, he also gets elements from, yeah, yeah. from that. That was a bit better, wasn't it? He's got his eye in there. Well, I've just thought as well watching it this time around is all these planets that you can fucking land on them that's it exactly it's, it's fucking that thing you always wanted to be able to do yeah, yeah. look at that the sight thing the way it works looks very similar to that um Actually, it looks like the, the bigger circle that goes around it, that's where you need to lead your shot. It is, yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It's the same sight system as that flight sim I was playing. Yeah. And I'm already, and I'm not going to like, you've seen me play yeah, yeah. anyway. It reminds us of Afterburner with like Mega Drive. Tell him, yeah, I'm I'm off, tell him though, to be honest, tell him, am I, am I not a fucking demon on that game? You've I'm, never seen uh, a man so skilled in the biplane. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, Cooper, and it's the same aiming system as this. And you're talking PvP. And he's been there and sat there when I took 14 players down. Yes or no? Yeah. And then, because you were turning too sharp, the guys fucking passed out and you crashed into the crew. <laughs> yeah. You, got, you have to upgrade your crew right, and your crew weren't skilled enough for this plane. So, because I banked too hard, you passed out because I lost control. But I was on okay, four. Um, it's a free to play one, what's it called again? Oh, War Thunder or yeah, something? Yeah, War Thunder. Mate, I fucking love it. And I'm amazing at it. And it's the same aiming system as this. Honestly, Cooper, if this is the aiming system, it's the flight sim. You, my lad, are fucked. We'll see. You are fucked. No, I'm so confident. I am so confident. How are you going to beat us? I've got a secret weapon. You know what it is? Anus. No, nope. I'm going to turn vegan just before it comes out. How are you going to beat us then? I'm going to put John Cars on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm busy distracted and singing along. Yeah, it's going to blow you out of the sky. Shit. It's depressing as watching it. I know how now. I'll do it. I know how I'll beat you if you go vegan. John Sakar's classic hit single, I'd rather suck a vegan cock than eat a carnist pussy. I'm going to call and I'm going to name my laser cannons vegan cocks. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll have to suck them one and plant swords. <laughs> yeah. Have you thought about what you call, call, call your first planet? Um. Aye. Sakar's land. <laughs> Look at him man. It's fucking silky smooth. It does look amazing. You know what as well, and then I know this is really nerdy, but how many years have I been whinging and crying that I want a good flight sim on the console? Go the flight. That's why I downloaded that other game, that War Thunder, mm. and it's decent. You know what I mean? It's not amazing, but it's decent, and that looks like it's a step further. That looks like I'm starting to get what I want in terms of console gaming now as well. That's awesome. I'm really happy with that. Do you know if I'd realised there was such a heavy emphasis on the flight sim side of it, right? I wouldn't have cried about it as much a couple of months ago. You know, you remember, I don't know if you remember, like three years ago when they first announced it, and they showed you that little clip. I went over to when I was seeing uh, Dean. I'm like, dude, check this out. And Dean's complaint was, it's got a fucking purple sky. Space isn't purple; it's black. Fuck it, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> and then a few days ago, I got a text off him. So I've been watching some videos at No Man's Sky, uh, pre-ordered up. What I think everybody, uh, PC for him. Mm. I think everybody who's sort of like had a little bit of doubt about it, watched some videos and got, shit, yeah. I need that. Yeah, well, the, the, the footage I've seen recently has alleviated a lot of my concerns, which I've maintained for quite a long time. I've, I've got a mate. Um, no, I mean, you haven't. Right, I've you got a lad I know. 
Well, he hasn't had he hasn't had a console since PS2 since I like, I was at school. So you're talking like you know ten years. He hasn't. Longer than that. Yeah, he's like he's had no interest in it, and then he's been around Bingham's and Bingham's been like, well, "Have you seen No Man's Sky?" And he showed him the thing, and he's went. Right and buying a PlayStation whoa, 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 4. Whoa, 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 rewind. Are you telling me that my old friend Richard Bingham is also getting No Man's oh, Sky? Oh, yeah, yeah. Richard Bingham will definitely enlist into my way of thinking. I know Richard Bingham will aid me. I'm <laughs> going gonna, gonna to recruit him into my fleet. You're never going to see him, man. <laughs> I am. I Michael. don't think you understand how this all works. I don't think you understand how crying gamers work. What happens is we all stomp our feet and cry enough and they go... All right then, we'll put a game mechanic in that you, where you can find your friends and in three months I'm going to know exactly where you are. It might take me like three weeks of actual in-game game time to fly to your planet, but I'm willing to do that. He doesn't understand, does he? I do. you got more chance of winning the lottery. Ten times. <laughs> As it stands at the moment. But people are going to put pressure not, on the developers not going to, in, to be able to see other people's planets. Fair enough, That's not the point of the game, though. So do, you, do you think you'll be able that to see your planets? Actually, relent and do that. I hope so, because if I can find his planet, then no, I can find No, because it's, they have integrity. I I actually think they probably won't. No, but the world only the world. I will either. find you. Of course. You there'll be a way. There'll be a bug in the game. Then I'll find. If, if you do find them, then fuck hell, you might as well put the lottery on that day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, and I'll calm find down. You. I'll find of you. course you will. You'll find me sitting with Elvis. He's getting a bit salty about this. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to look to see if uh, anyone's discussed whether you. Do you know what I mean? I'm not getting salty about it. I think I will find you. You know, we'll shoot you, ship. I you know, I will throw me toys out the pram. I'll throw your broken ship out the pram. <laughs> Well, that's 21 minutes of gameplay, I don't need that. <sighs> Fucking come on, man. Did you have anything else, No Man's Sky related then? Yeah, your mum. Uh, no. I mean, uh, mm, not really. I mean, just a lot of shit like, the, you know they've done a day one update. Yeah. And that's, I think that's to balance yeah. out some of the shit, but apparently they've added more colours. Um, well, that's not a that's not a negative, is it? No. I suppose. <laughs> uh, PS no fucking PC version comes out two days later than yeah, I that, PS4, yeah. and that's all I've got on No Man's Sky really. I've got. Is it is it coming to uh, Xbox as well? No, no. Ha, lose <laughs> sixty PS. Well, they're not getting No Man's Sky. No. Oh, P- PS4 and PC only. They get some other game. That no one's bothered about. Yeah, every man's. They start. don't. They don't even get Rebel Galaxy. I don't know, they might. That <laughs> oh, sucks so, because like, Xbox haven't really got that many good exclusives. Whoa, 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 what's no, this? what I'm saying. You can see your friend's location in stats on the Galaxy map. Oh, look, you're on Reddit. Did you ever play Limbo? I did. Did you like it? It was all right. It held uh, me attention. I really liked it. I thought it was good. But the guys who made that have made a new game called Inside. I've seen it. And it's August 23rd. Yeah, I've off. seen it. You can't have parties or join friends. The universe is infinite. Of chance you are in space. Spot of another player. You may not even see them. The rarest case that you find another player. There's no way to guarantee you will continue to play alongside that character. Game is He's fucking determined. Uh, yeah, I find it. <laughs> so we say each other's discoveries. See the effect of the universe together. You have the option to play offline. It's who doesn't change the rungs of who you. A more traditional multiplayer experience may come later. Me. Yeah, but you see what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No what? It might. So what? there's a new free-to-play card slash strategy game coming the PS4 called Duelist. I've seen some of it and it's all right. Not my kind of thing, like. But yeah, it's not really. It doesn't really play like. They've, they've never been my kind of thing, but only because I've not had an interest. And then recently, very recently, I thought oh, I might enjoy them because of the strategy. Quite. But 
because of Gwent. But, well, no, I've like, I mean, I like card games in real life as well. But what's in intensely off-putting about all of them, right, is that every single one of these <coughs> computer-based card <coughs> game systems, it's frankly, is pay to win. They're all pay to win. If you want to enjoy that game, right, losing every now and then isn't a bad thing. Losing it's, it's not, it's a bad not thing. so much pay to win as it is pay to win or grind for fucking six weeks. Not interested in that. Yeah. You've seen this mock-up of the Nintendo NX. Yeah. What's the fucking point, man? They're saying that, like, they're going back for their core gamers and shit. How are they, though? How are they? I, d- I don't know. I don't know. It's just, like, more gimmicky shit. Oh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure core gamers just want a console in front of them, a pad in their fucking hands and a telly. And a decent fucking game. And a decent fucking system. Tell me that that's even going to be fucking remotely powerful when it's basically a fucking tablet. Well, that's all it is, isn't it? Really, yeah. it's a tablet without any of the tablet features. But the thing is, though, is it's, it's a like, tablet that you can't fucking Skype on. How how <laughs> how powerful is the average tablet? Do you know what I mean? Because I know it's not as powerful as a Wii U, and that's not exactly a fucking standout piece of kit, is it? No. No, it's garbage. So you know. Well done, Nintendo, for once again shooting yourself in the foot. I'm lo- I'm loving this, by the way. Have you seen the different thing about the classes of ships? I was looking at this. Yes, the yeah. science, science ships. This and, uh, is this, right? Ships. Four confirmed classes. Trader, explorer, scientist and fighter. Obviously, I'm going to get a fighter because my goal is to blow you out of the sky when they change the update the game later and I can find you on the map because that's going to happen. I want a scientist ship because they're asymmetrical and they look pretty cool. No, you need... Yeah, any of the other three classes for you is fine. You can have any of the other three classes as well. What if I want a fighter? Can't have one. Why are you scared of my blow you out of the sky? Go on and get a fighter. <laughs> get a fighter. Because <laughs> I get the limited edition, I start with a fighter jet that looks like one of the Viper jets from Battlestar Galactica, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's too I'm going to really enjoy blowing out of the You think? Yeah. They're all pretty small, and you'll need to get larger ships. I don't mind that. I like these little one person. Yeah. I'm glad that they don't have the your crew has passed out and cut it. I've always told you that though. Thing is though, as well, that match, because he was watching us like, watch this game, it's mint. And I was styling it. I mean, I normally play fairly well, but you know them games sometimes where you have such a golden round, you're like, why was nobody there to see this? Why did nobody see me be amazing? It was just brilliant, but it was, it was just like, just... now watch this <laughs> type moment. And then he was like, this really fucking like cool manoeuvre. And then he's, he's fucking crew just being pussies and passing out. And then going head first into the cliff here. And I was like, yeah, that was really impressive. I mean, it was funny. I was laughing. Watch it was, this, it yeah. Was, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Right, but and that's how I was 14 and zero. Golf club. I was, I was, I was 14 and zero. Nobody could touch me, could they? And bearing in mind, I was in a crew that couldn't even fly that ship. I wasn't even maxed out. And I was just fucking raping them. Why not? Yeah. Just destroying them. It was awesome. Oh, I've got some good news. Crash Bandicoot? No. Sega oh, are considering PS4 remakes for Yakuza 2, 3, 4, and 5. Really? It's like, what the fuck? Just stop. Do you know what Sega should do? They should consider... Die. <laughs> no, no, this is genuine. They should consider selling off a lot of their, now, as far as I'm concerned, debunked and past their best titles. So they should sell the licenses all together yeah. for things like Sonic and stuff like that. And accumulate, because they, they would still go for decent wedge of money, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Realistically. Especially if they sold them to, like, the mobile phone app market. Yeah. Right? They should sell all the licenses off for, like, disgusting amounts of money, accrue loads and loads of wealth, and then go back into making consoles, because it's what they did best. Do you know what I mean? They should sell off all the fucking uh, license intellectual property and stuff like that that they have now and they should use all that money to start again maybe maybe they'll say consider themselves like icarus and they flew too close to the sun with the dreamcast <laughs> and now they the have dreamcast to... was awesome exactly though. this is what i mean the dreamcast didn't fall down because of the console it fell down because of all the stupid bits of paraphernalia you had to buy for the pads and stuff instead of having it just in one thing Everyone that everyone felt ripped off. It was a very expensive console in a market where the PS2 was absolutely dominating and it continued to dominate. 
Which, got, what's one I'm about to say? I've got to show you this. But I fucking love my Dreamcast. I wish I still had one. The official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account. For today, we need... The world um, needs more Knuckles. Create your own Knuckles... Sorry, and Knuckles image. And tweet it to us. We'll retweet the best. Begin. And somebody's put that. <laughs> <laughs> Show that to the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Get in. That's fantastic. That is genuinely funny as fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's excellent. The internet's a wonderful place. <laughs> <laughs> it is. When a corporate company's going to realise that nobody buys into their shit. Do you know one of the things I mean? love the most about Twitter is Hulk Hogan? Because <laughs> he's always putting his fucking foot in it <laughs> on social media. <laughs> and then he has, to, he has to write apology tweets because people keep trolling him because he's so stupid. <laughs> I've never seen any of his But it's stuff like they'll tweet a picture of like, I don't know, fucking Stalin or something, or some fucking Chairman Mao or something, and they'll be like, oh, this is my Asian grandfather, can he get a, oh, can shit, he get yes. a retweet from you? Hulk Hogan's like, there you go, brother, and stuff like <laughs> that. And people like, you do realise you're just essentially like, you know. But he, he obviously just doesn't fact check this shit, he just retweets it and he's like, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's brilliant. Have you read about the upgrades? Yes. Have you? No. Upgrades. Each ship has between one and three armaments attached, which you were able to upgrade. So I'm assuming that obviously the fighter class will have the three armaments attached and maybe the other ships have got one or two. You know what I mean? The ones that aren't specifically good. Cargo space. Split between cargo and hyperdrive fuel. That's fair enough. Cloaking. I like that already. That's made into real space fights. Hasn't it? Because that can drop me cloak and then just sneak up on the drop me cloak and then just ram a fucking torpedo up your ass. It's not even that really. So much as you, you're like, say you jump into a system, and there's a fuck off blockade of ships, and you're like, yeah, I'm not fucking I'm not, fighting I'm these. Not getting involved, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you've got energy <laughs> torpedo, which is self explanatory Engine, which is gen general speed. Hull, set with stats to allow landing in toxic, corrosive, and radioactive environments. That's cool. Uh, hyperdrive, so there's your hyperspace jump distance, so you have hyperspace, that's awesome, right, laser beams, freaking laser beams, right, and we've got plasma shot, rapid fire shot, shields and wing, wing effects maneuverability, so there's going to be a lot to do on your ship, so you two lads better get cracking straight away on your ship, because do you know you can wave. find ships on planets as well, like I heard this, ships. and, and um, you can buy them from space stations if they're docked as well, can't you? But if you find one that's crashed, you can fix it up if you've got the right stuff and S fly off with it. Speaking of docking, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, good. Hi. So, uh, it? <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> Weird segue. Yeah, it's just, it's just what I mean, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. It looks amazing. It looks wait. amazing. Oh, I'm, I'm, wait, wait. I'm just so excited because to me now, the game's evolved in my head. And it's a flight. It's a flight sim where you can land and do cool and get out shit. There. Yeah. And I love flight sims. I love them. <laughs> I know it's a bit like old school to love a good flight sim, isn't it? For me, on the PC, on my old PC, I had a, and it was one of my favourite games. And I had like an airliner flight sim, where you basically just did flew. you wear your pilot suit and a hat? You wear you flew like different uh, classes of like passenger plane. And you had to like do your journey properly and land it and all that. And did you did you let the co-pilot take over for ten minutes while you furiously masturbated? Sometimes. Yeah. Um, but you could play it in real time. So if I wanted to on that game, I could fly from Heathrow to Florida in real time. <laughs> Shit like that. And that's that's, so yeah, that's fun. But it was fun because what made it fun was like you could play it really properly, right? Or you could like get like over the Atlantic Ocean and then just dive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's... that's and, yeah. That was, like, <laughs> pretty funny because your score and everything went down and you got, like, you know, you in so much trouble and you'd get sacked and, and then, obviously, like, you died and so did 137 passengers and all of that. It was great. It was a funny game. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. I didn't play it properly, obviously. I repeatedly... Yes, yeah, yeah, I repeatedly... <laughs> But I was like, oh, can I do a loop de loop in a 747? Yeah. <sighs> yes, I can. Can I fly upwards until my engine's cut out? Yeah. 
and everyone passes out from no oxygen. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Well, they don't pass out through no oxygen now because the cabins are pressurised, you fucking clown. I wish there was a button to open the windows. <laughs> <coughs> open the door. Yeah, so that like I do I do like them. They are fun. They are fun. There was a really old um I forget what it was called, there was a really good one in the late nineties. It was get blocky you look at obviously it was in the nineties, but you it was set on um uh you, you took off from naval fleets and it was all like Russian versus America dog fighting. And that was awesome. And the reason that that's come to my memory is because it's the same sort of cockpit view and feel as I saw on there with the dog fighting, um, where you could see the trails and you had to like get your eye in and follow the trail of where he's gone. And I wonder if different skies are going to be like um, harder or easier to see the trails oh, of your opponent's ship. Definitely, because even, Do you know what I mean? even just watching that, it wasn't so much that I lost sight of where whoever he was attacking was but I kind of like I lost my sense of like where I was at do you know what I mean because like you so you build it up in your head don't you and you're like I can, I can see me doing a loop to loop and then just being like hang on where, where, which fucking way am I facing now because I noticed he was fighting one person and he tried to follow him and then ended up following another person yeah. and started shooting him and like, yeah it'll get confusing I wonder if you can have fights in in a planet's atmosphere I'll like, tell you I'll tell you where it's going to happen the most each area's got a space station yeah. and it's a central hub and that's where it's going to happen when you're on the way to the space station that's where it's going to all kick off isn't it it's going to be awesome I'm excited I hope there's the option to be a knob as well of course there is um, mate I'm going to open fire on everybody yeah. that's part of the reason I've been enjoying that Rebel Galaxy because I was there uh, on one of the missions on it I, was, like, I went and killed these like these thugs and there was like a militia ship in the area and they're like they're usually sort of like the peacekeepers aren't they and I was kind of on side with them and I did my pulse thing and it was like bounty nearby and I'm like where the fuck so I scanned this ship and it was like oh it's on this and I'm like I didn't really want to fucking go toe to toe with this because I might like I'll probably get my arse handed to us and even if I don't I'm trying to get on these guys good side and uh, basically I thought I, I opened the communication thing with them because I thought sometimes you can convince them to like fuck off like you go instead of going like oh they'll go oh, I'll give you two grand instead of however much the, the bounty is and then we fuck off and that's the end of it and I'd have been happy with that but there was no option for that and then there was just this option of suck void you jack booted freaks and I was like well I've got to go for that haven't I <laughs> so I did it and they were like right did you, like uh, insulting the fucking like naval officer or whatever's like an offence open fire and I was like shit and I opened, communi- I opened communications in the game when I started getting my ass handed to us because I didn't realise there was like four of them just around the corner. <laughs> and there was, it was like, one of the options was like, this is all just a big misunderstanding. So I clicked that and they were like, yeah, well, it's too late for that now. And I was like, shit. <laughs> I like how it's hard to escape as well yeah. when you're getting ganged yeah. on that game. It's, it's hard but, to run away. But what I loved about that was, uh, it's like what we were saying about Fallout, how there was no, there was no option to be a knob on that game. You can totally just, you can put your foot in your mouth. Yeah. And you can just be a dickhead. And like that merchant who's passing, you're like, yeah, you can trade with them. Or you can just blow them out of the sky and pinch all your shit. <laughs> I'd rather do that. <laughs> so I've got, I've got one last thing. It's not about gaming, but it's about something close to all of our hearts. Kanye West. Oh, no, not Kanye. Appar- oh, apparently that uh, Glastonbury gig he did can you remember that did you see any of it i didn't see it but i know he headlined them did yeah. you not see his version of bohemian rhapsody i've heard that before oh wow uh, anyway apparently that left him feeling depressed and it's all because of lee nelson you know the british comedian yeah because lee nelson disrupted his show he jumped on stage and uh, apparently that made him really nervous and fuck up made him fuck up bohemian rhapsody and left oh. him not feeling the, depressed and suicidal. Not the fact that he can't actually fucking sing. Yeah. What a fucking prick. Do you know what? Then if, Why? If all it takes for him to kill himself is if people interrupt his show, please, let's have an international call out now for every gig and every tour and every song. Please interrupt Kanye as much as is possible possible and let this fucking snowflake wither and die. That's, that's instantly pissed me off. For Like, this is the thing. Lee Nelson... 
got up on stage and did a parody of what Kanye did to Taylor Swift, didn't he? Yeah. 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 So surely, unless Kanye is the world's biggest fucking simpleton, which he might be, how can he not understand that the way he fails is the way he made fucking Taylor Swift fail when he did that? Do you know what I mean? Because he's a fucking pillock. Because he's got a fucking god complex. Yeah. What a fucking dick. Well, that's, that's brilliant. Like, you know, it's amazing. And I've heard, well I've done, heard him Lee do... Nelson. I've heard the Kanye West versus Freddie Mercury comparisons and stuff and that. I just cringe every time he opens his fucking mouth. Me too. And here, and on a final note, all I've got to say to Kanye <laughs> Weston is if you can't <laughs> fucking take it, don't give it out. That's not what I thought you were going to say. No, That's I, a final I'm note. done with that now, it's yours. <laughs> it's not mine. Yeah. And before any of you motherfuckers Niggas. say it, oh. <laughs>